to another episode of MotoGP Mac and in today's video we're going to talk about Peko's problem over the Argentinian Grand Prix weekend. Now Saturday he was very frustrated um, when it came to the last couple of laps in FP2 to secure um, qualifications through to uh, Q2 but what I could see here from this was is that there was a number of things happening to Peko and one of the first things that I really noticed was that he was struggling to get that bike stopped and as you'll see here the bike is pivoting around the headstock and he just cannot get that stopped and I think there is one of the major problems because he is running wide into the corners and we did see him over the course of the weekend get the braking completely wrong. The next area I think where it is is that is that he has to take wider lines, wide arcing lines, a little bit like Yamaha actually, to get the bike turned the way he wants. Whereas Baseki, you will see behind him on the GP21, can turn much easier, much better and much tighter. Again, using less track. Now, for me in this way, I think there's two things going on here. Either Banyaya is overriding the bike and trying to muscle it around, which I don't think the bike actually likes, or it's the characteristics of the engine in that 22.5 because if you look at it there was two other gp22s on the front row and you know the ducati factory team were way back i know miller got a penalty but joe they were way back in the grid and you know okay peko did do a great race to get back up through the up through the field but again, I do think the fix actually is not testing new parts for Peko. I think it's Peko and Ducati need to find a really good base setting that they can use to just start every weekend and tweak. He's not a person for big, wild changes. Now, the other thing that I did notice was is that Peko was taking a lot of advice from Jack Miller. And... When I was looking at the images, I was like, oh, are they having a conversation about Joe, you know, Joe, how's your day going? Or was it kind of like a technical conversation where uh, Miller was sharing some maybe track, track secrets or Joe experience with him? And it looked to me that he was giving them that experience to help him. Um, but I'd left, definitely love to know your thoughts. Um, you know, we have Kota this weekend again, you know, not a lot of time for Ducati to turn around. But uh, love to see your thoughts and I'll see you again in tomorrow's video. I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.